celebrate Black History Month, today we're shining a light on pop icon and neo-expressionist American painter John Michel Basquiat. Yeah! yeah. One of the dopest ever touch a paintbrush ever. Yes. In just a few years, Basquiat went from being homeless and unemployed to selling a single painting for up to $25,000 wow. in a matter of several years. Mm. He swiftly rose to become one of the most celebrated painters of the neo-expressionism art movement. Oh. That's awesome. That's goodness, yeah. isn't it? I mean, he clicked up with the right people at the right time, and it kind of, like, you know, aided and ushered it in. When he started working with Warhol, his stock went through the roof. Yeah. Right, yeah, like, his paintings can be viewed all the way from New York, L.A., and Barcelona, all over over the world. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my God. But anyway, y'all, but during the 1980s, y'all, Basquiat had <laughs> many <laughs> high profile. Wait, say, how you say it again, Basquiat? Did y'all notice, y'all, that Basquiat had a brief relationship with the material girl, Madonna? He what? Did? Yes, ma'am, bitch. He played with okay. Madonna. Okay, she wasn't acting like a virgin no more. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly, Basquiat's heroin addiction took his life at the age of 27, but his works are some of the most expensive sold at auctions. Last year, his untitled 1982 painting sold for a record-breaking $110.5 million. Damn. And one thing about his style of art, it was so definitively him. Mm -hmm. Like, you could never mistake a Basquiat piece for anybody else's work. Right. Yeah, they like, had their particular look. He was a, a, a madman genius with it, man. Mm -hmm. That's why Andy Warhol snatched him up. Baby, Miss Warhol said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that?